Good afternoon, I'm Susan McCord. Welcome to Dear Cyber Sue. Today's topic is don't give up your own life just to be in a relationship. This topic is one that I've wanted to discuss for a long time because I cannot believe how many people actually do this. They have a great thing going in their own life, they meet somebody and all of a sudden everything changes. They stop doing a lot of things, they don't talk to their friends as much anymore. Everything revolves around the person they're with. And it's great to be in love and we all change a little bit when we first meet somebody that we're smitten with. It just happens. We spend more time with them than maybe our friends and our family and it's just the way it is because we're getting to know them. So you want to give them some undivided attention. Well, that's one thing and that's perfectly okay and it happens pretty much in every relationship. But there has to be compromise. It can't be where it continues to go down the path of where you give up everything in your life to be with the person because you put them on this pedestal, they're so wonderful, and you can't wait to see them all the time and so everything in your life goes out the window because you want to give everything to them. Well, I can tell you that this doesn't work very well because people get bored when they're being catered to all the time or everything goes their way. You need to have things in your life that are yours and yours alone. It's not about having to be that perfect partner all the time where everything they want, you give them because they want you to have your own life. They don't want to be bored that you have nothing to offer to the relationship because it's you've, everything that you're doing is for them. They like the fact that you had your own life because that's how they met you. They were attracted to the person you were as your authentic self and you were attracted to them for that particular reason as well. I stress in many of my uh, videos that your partner should always be an extension of who you already are. You should be with them because they bring more to your world, you bring more to their world, but you're already whole. They're not the person that comes in to make you whole. They're, they come in to add to your life. So you always want to maintain your sense of self because that's who you are. So many people don't hold on to that part of themselves when they get into a relationship. And that's such a huge mistake and one of the biggest reasons a lot of relationships fail. And every time you talk to somebody who's split up and, and they say to you, yeah, I, I gave too much in my relationship. I, I gave a big part of myself away when I met them. I stopped doing this. I stopped seeing a lot of my friends. I didn't go to my dance class anymore. I didn't do this. These are all things that will just make your own life not as exciting because you're not achieving your goals anymore. You're not making all these things happen for you that you were before that brought you enjoyment. Maintaining your independence and your personal desires is what makes you you. So why, why do you want to change that and, and take away those amazing attributes? Because that's what your partner fell in love with. But we forget that sometimes and we just want to hold on tight. But the tighter we hold on, the more they want to pull in the opposite direction. People want you to be who you are. That's why we meet each other and we show each other who we are. Why do we want to change that? If they fell in love with you for those reasons and everything that who you were, don't you think that that's probably how you should maintain your relationship going forward? When you're ready and you totally love and respect yourself, you're not going to let yourself lose any part of what you've done to be who you are. So really think about that. If you are finding that you're letting yourself go in these relationships and giving up a lot of who you are, it might be that you're just not ready and you're not completely in control of what you want in your life. So you might be choosing people who are a little bit stronger and who can take care of you. 
And this isn't really what you want if you've been working hard to be who you are. Sometimes we lose a bit of our identity when we fall madly in love because we're just giving everything to that person. But they don't really want you to be that person. They want you to be authentic to who you are, as I said earlier, because that's who they met. That's who they fell in love with. So as hard as it is sometimes, because you want to be with them all the time, hold back a little bit, especially when you're getting to know them. Take some time so that you have a couple of days to just go and do your own thing so you don't get stuck in this trap of wanting to be with them constantly. A great relationship consists of equal respect where the foundation of the relationship is balanced and pretty much all the time balanced. You don't want to have it where one person's in control one week, one person's in control the next week because there's no balance. There's no, there's nothing there that makes you feel safe because you're always wondering what's going to happen next. If you're finding that you're losing yourself in almost every relationship you're in, you really have to step back and look at who you're allowing in your life because there's something going on that either you don't feel, you know, worthy enough of having it and you're so grateful they're there so you just want to give them everything but it's not where you should be a good relationship as i said is very equal love is exciting and it's really important to have in your life but not at the expense of losing yourself so thanks for tuning in to dear cyber c today please subscribe if you haven't already done so leave any comments below i always love hearing from you and any show topics you have please leave them also below in the comment section click like thanks so much everyone